Hi, I wanted to show you about some of these Gulf fritillary caterpillars, a little bit more about them. Um, the kids are gone. There's one down at the bottom. There's two on the side, and there's one on the lid. I'll show you them in a little bit. Um, and there's quite a few that are forming chrysalises. That debris at the bottom of the tank is called frass. Um, you can see it kind of looks milky, but I'll talk to you about that in a minute. The walls of the tank, so it's hard to see. But the debris down there is called frass, and it's a fancy word for poop. But it's not as gross as it might seem to you, perhaps. Um, it is really, uh, we looked at it one time in a discovery scope, which is a kind of a magnifying glass viewer. And the, the frass is just layers and layers and layers of dried up leaves that are stacked together. Of course, they're not dried up when they come out, but they're dried later. I got some on this little piece of paper right here for you to see. Um, they just look black, but they're really, if you look over to the left, they're more green. And that little spiky thing is the skin of one of the caterpillars after it shed right before it, be it started pupating to become a chrysalis, which is kind of cool. Now, I'm going to talk to you about the milky hazy areas that are on the walls of the tank. I'll grab this piece of black paper and put it behind and you can see them better. That, they, um, that is silk. The caterpillars make it and that one to the left is kind of waggling back and forth but um, when they make it they're usually head up like the one to the right and they just, they're, they're sleeping. But they move it back and forth. They in the thread, the silken threads come out of their head area, and I'm not sure where it comes from. But it makes like a little silken stair. Watch that guy walk down. See how its legs do? It's like the wave in a football stadium or something. It's kind of neat. But they use those as little pathways. It's just like walking up a silken stair or maybe a um, webbing or something for them. Probably more like, it just gives them a little traction, I guess. Um, I'm going to show you where they go. They go up to the top. They don't like to hang out with others. Even when they're babies, they're really independent. The other kind of caterpillars I raise a lot are pot vine swallowtail caterpillars. Because I've got Dutchman's pipe in my yard. And they are, they just hang out together till they get older. But not these. Um, these caterpillars, I oh, saw that one wiggle maybe if you, see how it's wiggling? It's not liking me tilting this. They, I think that's a way to defend itself. See how it's wiggling? Independently. I mean, I'm vibrating it a little bit. But. Uh, I think they do that to keep away from predators. There's one guy that's crawling, trying to look for a spot to be. And there's three right here. There's actually a total of five hanging upside down on this whole entire lid. I'll back up a little. Let's see, there's one over there, kind of close to me, and one over to the far right. But I'm going to focus on these three here. The one that's farthest to the, uh, the most to the right kind of focus, is one that started to develop last night. Uh, it wasn't as advanced as the one that's just immediately to its left. That uh, It looked like that this morning. Um, and the, the patches of white that are kind of near the head, which the head is down at the bottom, and it's got a little silken stem, um, that's where its wings are going to form. They're pretty cool. I think they look like, when they're upside down, I think they look like a bat. The way they look. We'll see if I can focus on it. And also, of course, they look like a dried up leaf. Maybe predators wouldn't find them that way, but in my house, the lizards are wise to them. They're supposed to also be kind of poisonous, but like I said, they get eaten. And so the pipe vine swallowtails, which are kind of supposed to be poisonous. So anyway, these may have a chance in here. Anyway, sorry it's a haphazard video. I hope you have a good day.